Hi guys, welcome, welcome to this video. You beautiful people, my friends. I've got this line on my head, I've been wearing the headband again. <laughs> Didn't want to get a tan line, so I'm taking it off. So today I'm at my walk in the park and it's quite a nice day, not too warm, not too cold. So let's talk about self-image. Now, self-image is a really important thing and self-image is something that we all have. And how is your self-image? You know, when you look at self-image, and you being the co-creator of your reality, you're constantly manifesting, you're constantly creating the world and the life that you have for yourself. Your face is the way it is because you've created it that way. Your body is the way it is because you've created it that way. So, this got me thinking uh, about a book that I've read which is Psycho-Cybernetics. And this book was recommended by Bob Proctor. And Psycho-Cybernetics is written by Dr. Maxwell Maltz. If you haven't checked out his work, have a look at his work. And uh, Dr. Maxwell Maltz was a plastic surgeon. And what he would find is that people would come to him asking for change in their life and people that weren't happy with their life for whatever reason and a lot of it coming from the way they looked so they would go to him and he would then carry out the plastic surgery on these people and what he found was in a lot of the cases he completely transformed the way these people looked and even after the plastic surgery was performed, they still weren't happy with the way they, they were, which got him thinking, now there's something deeper than that. You know, we're all built in a certain way and we all have an internal guiding, guidance system within us. And it all comes from how do you see yourself? So there's some people where the plastic surgery was performed and they'd look at themselves in the mirror and they would see this beautiful person which would then make them feel amazing. And then there was others that would look into the mirror and they'd still see somebody ugly. And it all came down to the way they felt and how they saw themselves. So the mirror image that they had of themselves within. Now an example of this as well could be like, I'll take myself now. I've always been a slim person. I've always had a toned body. I've always been slim. No matter what I eat, I can eat lots of junk food and crap and I still won't get fat because I've always seen myself as being toned and thin. So you, he you see this so many times with people that have diets and they try diets and even though they're really really struggling to lose weight deep down they've got an image of themselves as being fat or overweight and you won't lose weight because, because of that. And it's, it's almost like you're, you're pushing against something which is ultimately going to fail. So really think about the image that you have of yourself. You know, what kind of body do you wanna have? What kind of a face do you wanna have? What kind of a life do you wanna have? What kind of a job do you want to have? What kind of wealth and abundance do you want to have? All of these things 
come from your internal guidance system. And this is something that can be trained. You can go into meditation. You can train yourself to, to break out and really shape your life. But this is easier said than done because you have to go within. You have to do the work on a daily basis. You have to sit down maybe five, 10 minutes longer a day and really do the inner work. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. So check out that book, Psycho-Cybernetics. To me, it sounded like a very mechanical sort of book. You know, it sounded like it was going to be full of facts and figures. And I was actually surprised that when I picked up this book and read it, it was a very easy to read book and it was very easy to understand. And that's coming from somebody that's not a big reader. So check it out, Maxwell Maltz, Psycho Cybernetics. So thanks for watching guys. And I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you did like this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, drop me a comment in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Bye.